statisticians a long time ago used this distribution in the calculation. So um, you can do a lot of times when you're doing a chi-square critical value, it'll usually be right tail. Like if you're doing a goodness of fit test or a categorical association test, it's right tail. But if we were using it for a variance confidence interval, we'd want to actually click two tail. It works just like the other ones. Notice in variance, because that's what it gets its name chi-square, it's squared values, so it's never negative. So you can see how zeros over here. It never goes to negative. It's positive values because you're squaring things and adding it up. So my lower limit critical value is 8.907 for 19 degrees of freedom and 95% confidence, and my upper limit would be 32.852, and those numbers would be used in the one population confidence, uh, variance confidence interval. Uh, and then you could change it to 90 or 99 if you wanted. So if I did 99 there, now I got those two, so I noticed they're both positive. The lower limit is 6.843, upper li the I'm sorry, the lower critical value is 6.843, and uh, the upper critical value is 38.583. These are not the these are not uh, confidence intervals. These are critical values. Okay, well that does it. That just gives you a quick tour about how to calculate confident uh, critical values for confidence levels uh, and confidence intervals in uh, using StatKey. All right. So this is Matt Tuchot, Intro Stats, and I will see you all next time.